Oh, I just, please. Um, but they were also asked about reindeer games and if it was coming back and they straight up said, no, it's not coming back this year, but it will be back in the future. So the way I interpreted it, interpreted it was next year, just not this year. So I don't know. And honestly, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe like in every other year situation is what's needed. That's one of those things that it's so good, like so good that maybe if you're oversaturated with it, it could be not so good. I don't know. I'm sorry for the writer's strike, but grateful that we got it. Yeah, no, I'm really grateful we got Reindeer Games. Reindeer Games completely changed my perspective on doing competition reality TV shows again. So I'm really happy. When are you going to Dallas? We should all plan a trip or something. For those of you who don't know, that's Kat's boyfriend and phenomenal photographer who I'm like desperately, desperately, desperately trying to shoot with. I just don't go to Dallas ever. I don't go to Texas ever. But I do need to plan a trip there. And now I have a reason because I've got more people in Texas that I need to go hang out with. So yes, I should plan to come and visit, but I don't know if it'll happen before the end of the year. Maybe I'll make it happen, I don't know. Why do you love going live in the bathroom? <laughs> because this is where like, I, I ask somebody why they go live in the closet. Where do you want me to go live? On, in, in the kitchen? The lighting's better here. All my stuff is here. Is Angela as iconic in real life as she acts on TV? Yes, she is. Angela cracks me up. She's so funny. Um, she was like, that moment on the show when uh, her charcuterie got stolen and she's like on the floor in the DR looking up, like she was looking at me the exact same way when I was hosting a round table. Um, and between moments, she would just stop and look at me and be like, I can't believe I'm sitting next to you. I was like, I love you, Angela. She, she makes me giggle, she makes me laugh. Do you think Tucker was meant to go farther in the same way that anybody was meant to go farther in the game? Like, Jason, what's up? Did you think Tucker was proposing like other people did on the <laughs> No, so uh, from where I was sitting, Jack and I were front row. I have a zit that's, ah! Uh, I have a zit that's trying to come up and I can, feel it, it's like itchy now. I wish it were just like mosquito bites bothering me. Um, Jason, you literally got a vlog 30 minutes ago. Did you know you have 30 minutes? Anyway, no, I didn't think Tucker was proposing. I could see the flowers under his chair, but they're like, there wasn't a ring or whatever. <laughs> yeah, go like it, Jason, and get your ass back here. Okay, I gotta go pick up Chipotle now. Have a great night. Stay slang. You too, baby. I, I missed that one. Thank you. Roundtable was really fun. Like, really, really fun and exciting. I hope they bring back AI Arena next season and add so much complexity to the game. I agree. I think I would love to see AI Arena get vetoed. So in the way that Golden Power of Veto became a staple of the game, I'd love to see the arena become like a same staple of the game. It's really cool. Would you have taken Chelsea over Cam if you were in Mackenzie's position this season? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Um, and I'm not even saying that to say like, make a comment on Mackenzie's decision or whatever. I'm literally saying that because let's just look at how I play these games. Um, um, You're forgetting a third party though, Jason. What about our other best team? Are you in a triangle? I love that for you. Uh, oh, like a lot. <laughs> no, the challenger's joke was a joke. Y'all need to learn how to take a fucking joke. Um, but what was I saying before? Thanks, Red, I appreciate that. Oh, you guys are so sweet. No, Roundtable was, it was so much fun. I'm working on that Q and A. And by working on it, I mean, I have it written down in my planner to record it tomorrow. I saved all the questions that you all sent in on my Instagram stories. So I'm going to prop up my camera tomorrow and sit down and send all of those. Jason, send me that edit if you still have it. Talented King over here. Just 
all of you. Hello, Joss. Welcome. Welcome to the Hail Razors community. How do you think your season changes of AI arena was involved? Mm, um, <laughs> um, we can pretend like the backstage boss twist would have been similar then. And so that, um, that backstage comp that I won, that would have been like the first AI arena. Um, just more opportunities for me to win and save myself. <laughs> those like optical course things, those AI arena ones I was, I'm pretty good at. So I think I probably would have been in the arena a lot, but I would have been able to like work my way out of it. Should I send it on Instagram? Yeah, sure, that should work. Mango's in the building, what's going on, baby? What's another competitive show you'd want to be on if you had a choice? Traders is like top of my, my list on that one. Um, I would do Amazing Race. I would love to do Amazing Race with, um, I have like a short list of people I like to do it with. And da, 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 da. what other like competition reality shows are there? Trader or Faithful? I'd want to be a trader because that's the easiest way to get the most amount of money. <laughs> I, it, it is harder to, as a faithful, limit the amount of faithfuls that are also there so that you have enough people to like take my fingers out, you know? If you're a faithful, you are always splitting that money with somebody. So I don't like, I don't wanna split my money. I don't, I don't split checks. I will split checks. <laughs> Not the Taylor Swift fans coming after you. Oh, I get it. I can't be, where else should I send Instagram? Let me send a video first. Can you do it on Twitter? Let me know. Um, I, I can't be mad at the Swifties for being upset. I think it's a little misguided, maybe a little misdirected, but like I used to be a Jonas brother stand. Oh my God. And I definitely remember being like in pre-sale lines and not being able to get tickets or something and feeling devastated knowing that there were people going that like, like I went to school with, very, very, very privileged people. So in middle school, you got people that are going to Jonas Brother concerts in the top suites in the stadiums, and I'm like dying to just get a seat in the rafter somewhere. So it definitely stung to be like, damn, like I love this music and I'm such a fan and I, I want to be part of this so badly and you don't even know a single song and you're going. Like for me, that sucked as a super, super fan. But on the flip side, it was really cool being such a fan of the Jonas Brothers, and I'll just apply this to anything, and seeing people that weren't fans then like become fans or be like, oh, like I get it, this was fun, or like I really enjoyed myself. Like that was fun seeing other people have that experience. Jason, you missed it. No, I, I'm talking about when I was younger and a fan of the Jonas Brothers and being frustrated that other people would go to like the concert when I couldn't, and like how the Swifties are kind of jumping me right now. Um, but it's like, I get it. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I'm not gonna fight the Swifties, not just because they're Swifties, but they're not, they're not entirely wrong for being upset that they couldn't go and seeing someone that is not a Swifty going to the concert. I get it, like I'm not, it doesn't hurt me. I'm also not gonna be on here like, you, you girls are just mad because I got invited on a brand trip and da, da, da. like, no, I get it. And I had fun. Like, do I, am I gonna call myself a Swifty now? Am I gonna call myself a Taylor Swift fan? Probably not. But I was on the airplane back. <laughs> I wish I could show a photo, like a screenshot in here. I was texting, um, I was texting Joseph, we were talking about something random. And I took a screenshot of my home screen to send him something. And on the screenshot, I was listening to whatever Taylor Swift song, and he did not reply to what I was trying to send him. He was just like, I see you listening to Taylor right now. <laughs> I'm like, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Please don't call me out. And I knew he would call that out too. I was like, look at the thing that I'm sending you. I should have cropped it. I knew I should have cropped it, but whatever. I know, he exposed me. I got exposed so hard, but I knew better. So yada, 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 the long and short of it is I wish 
that this wasn't like a, you ungrateful, rich influencer, you don't know what she means to me. Like, I was FaceTiming my friends that are massive Swifties while we were there, and you know, some of my friends cried while they were on FaceTime. Like, it was a cool experience. Was it a experience Taylor made for me? Haha. <laughs> um, no, it was not. But did I have so much fun? And am I actually listening to her music on Spotify? Yes. So, yeah, I think it's fun. Like, also, it's a concert. I don't think every single person in the stadium is gonna be the biggest Swifty in the world, but you know, I get it. I get why people are frustrated. So I'm not gonna be out here like, no, 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 you don't get it. Or like, shut up and blah, blah, blah. like all that is just not necessary. Baby, you're a queen, I'm a Swifty and I'm so happy you got to have the best time. It was funny because in the beginning I was just kind of, I was saying they're like, yeah, I know this song. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm, I swear to you, I was like, yep. Yeah, okay, I know this one. By the end of it, I'm sure you guys saw my story dancing to Karma. I was like, what? <laughs> and I didn't have a single drop of alcohol or anything, so. It was fun. Kale's reputation, is this the same Kale that I know? Or are you different? What were you up to today? So I landed, um, I landed from, I was in Miami, then I did LA over in Orlando, landed in LA last night. And then I was actually supposed to meet up with Leah. She was down the block from my apartment at some concert. And so I was <laughs> sweet to sweet. She was in a suite for some concert. So I was gonna go meet her there. But by the time I got to my apartment, in sweatpants, mind you, and like a crop top and sweatpants. And like, I wanted to take a shower and put makeup on my face. The concert was ending within 30 minutes, baby. I was just now walking through the door with all my suitcases. So I was like, ah, I'm not gonna make it. So we rescheduled and we did brunch today. So fun. It's like that girl, we're very, very similar in many ways. Um, and I just really appreciate her. So it was cool to get to hang out with her. I like, meeting new cast members one-on-one. -on -one. So even though I try to create some distance just because like, I cover the show and I don't know what other TV shows everyone's gonna do and I just don't wanna create favoritism between everybody. Gosh, I love BB26 so much. So I kind of feel like the best thing right now for me to do is meet people as individually as I can. So I'm trying to work my way through the list. I do think most of the people have left LA so far and I'm kind of sad about that, but I'll get to everybody at the very least, I'll FaceTime them. Have you been watching the challenge? Um, on and off. Yes, Benji, yes. Will you let me pick you up? Oh no, you wanna run and play? I can't pick you up. Yes. Yes, Papa. Um, but just like as a fan of reality TV, it's been so fun watching eras one and two and even a little bit of three. No, yeah, like, and three. Like, I've really had fun watching all these people back on TV going head to head against each other. Like, it's one of those things where I didn't know so much about, I didn't know I already knew so much about the show. You know, you guys know what I'm saying? Did Chelsea really watch Benji? Yes, she did. She was on live with Benji in her lap. Knew that right, Bella. Yada, yada, yada. It's almost like, it would be like if Tila Tequila's dating show, and I know she, she's crazy right now, um, but it, it would be like if Tila Tequila had her dating show and like brought all those characters back and I started watching, I'd be like, oh my God, like I remember you, or like, I know this from this pop culture moment and like, I know this and I know that and I know that. That's what watching um, the season's been like. So most of what I've seen has been mostly from social media clips because And I'm gonna say this very kindly, MTV and Paramount just for some reason wants to make it difficult for people to access their current programming. And it's just frustrating, not just as someone who is in the Paramount family, or I guess recently no longer in the Paramount family. Well, no, <laughs> I'm still in it, baby. Um, but as someone who is in the Paramount family and also as friends that are in the Paramount family, trying to tell people that don't know how to do streaming or watch things online or they don't have cable, but they want to be like, I don't understand why it's so hard for people to just 
watch the shows that their friends and family are on. Or even just like it's a fan of a show. Why is it so hard to just go online and watch the thing you want to watch? So that's my... Huh. Come here. Boy. People say it's because the music licensing. That's. I wish I could tell you guys where these are from. Um, I forget. And I feel really bad because I'm pretty sure it's like a small minimum business. So I'm going to figure that out and try to post them for you all. Um, that being said. We were taught so music licensing doesn't make any sense to me because if you watch the older seasons that are on Paramount Plus that used like actual music that played on the radio, Benji wants attention, pick him up, relax. Not remembering where you got your jewelry is true girlhood. That's real. That is so real. Is it T or is it like Tay? Because you have a little accent on it. So let me know. Benji wants attention, pick him up. I'm watching your season and oh my God, the lace are getting out of hand. And baby, yeah. But they're literally my favorite stack in the entire world. Come here, wanna go up here? Yeah? Oh, mama, there you go. Ava, how old are you? Carol, I do know Chelsea's a Capricorn. Actually, the last three women to win Big Brother have all been Capricorns. Me and Chelsea and Casey are all Capricorns. And Julie, Chen Moonves, is also a Capricorn. Um, I know Capricorn is the most winning astrological sign, astrology sign? Astrological sign of all the Big Brother people. Carol, you're a Capricorn. Capricorns, let's go. Let's go. Tolu's a Capricorn, I know, I love her. I actually need to call her. We're trying to make plans to get together. So when I went as a Virgo, then do I break the streak? If you're on next season, maybe. We'll see. Benji is about a year and a half now. Isn't that right, Bubba? I'm a Capricorn spirit, but Libra forever. Very balanced. But yes, yeah, shout out to the earth signs. Shout out to the earth signs. Can you say hi, tiger? Rar. how's that? X, Hannah, and I are the same sign. Is that, is that Taurus? I missed it, uh, oops. How did I become the Benji fart in Joseph's face? Um, he was just sitting there, and all of a sudden, <laughs> Benji just let it out. Benji spoiled, Chelsea had to pick him up too. Well, Benji was actually just relaxing in his bed because I moved it in here, but somebody, Jason, just said to pick him up. So I think y'all get to have a little bit of Benji time. He's so silly. Look at how he just like perches up on your arm. And if you, <laughs> if you lift up your arm, he'll put a little bit of pressure down on his paw. Like, what are you doing? My little spoiled boy. Benji is a little bit of a menace. I do want to get Benji another trainer out here in LA. I feel like ever since we moved out here, he's regressed just a little bit. But honestly, I think I just let him get away with some stuff. I've not been a perfect dog mom. I will say that. I love my boy. Mm -hmm. Will Junior and Benji have a play date? Sure. It's cool that she lives out here, that uh, Chelsea lives out here, and like not that far from L.A. Big Brother should allow dogs to go in the house. Um, I remember Michael asking for a dog in the dining room, and I was like, they're not going to give us that. <laughs> if it's a therapy dog, like, we won't get that. Benji does run with me, so my trainer 
Thank you. My trainer does extra running sessions at a track at a high school on Sundays. I should have gone this morning. I was awake, but the really lame reason why I didn't go was because my Apple Watch is dead. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was thinking about going for a run like right now. What do you mean they get BB26 a pet? Oh, the fish? Come on. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about running, but my Apple Watch is dead, and I was thinking about going for a run right now. But once again, my watch is dead. So. <laughs> Oops. They give 26 a dog? Did I miss something? Sixteen got a dog for a week. Okay, so maybe someone just typed the two by mistake. Perhaps. Them fish were dying every day. Oh, oh no. Oh, I definitely still hate running. It's like, I here's the thing. I don't like it, but I am shocked at how quickly you can get good at it. I would not consider myself a good runner or like good at endurance or any of that. But compared to where I was two weeks ago, I'm like very, very, very shocked. I know that girl was staring me down and high key, she probably saw that I was not vibing with most of the, or like didn't even know most of the Taylor Swift songs, but when Lavender Haynes came on, it, I was up. I was up and dancing that whole time. I love that song. I love that song down. And so that girl probably, first of all, she was getting her whole life for the whole concert. So she definitely like hit her peak and then dropped a little bit. But watching that video, I would not be shocked if she's looking at me like, now I know this girl <laughs> who has not been moving or dancing this whole time is now dancing? I would not be shocked if that was her energy. BB26 is emotional support. Stop animals for a week. Real. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Hi, Baba. The other posts when you were leaving got big numbers. Cool. I, I'm like, I've divorced myself from worrying about numbers. Um, I've seen a lot of people, like they'll post something and they'll just keep checking, 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 checking to see how a post does. And for me, it's like, sometimes things hit, sometimes they don't hit, but if I let my, my emotions get attached to that, that's just not a healthy way to live. So, I kind of just post and keep it pushing. And if things do well, then I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, let me know what did well about that. And if something doesn't do well, I'm just like, ah, eh, some shit doesn't hit. It's fine. Keep it pushing. There's always another time. Isn't that right, Benji? <laughs> <laughs> or they delete the posts the numbers were low. For me, it's not about that. Like that's, I would rather, leave up a post that didn't do well because like I worked on it, I posted it, whatever. I would rather leave it up than delete it. There's no shame in something not hitting. May I have some lays, please? Not you throwing a little shade at Angela the round table. I don't like guys, do we know words mean things? Words mean things. That was not shade. That was not shade. I was just holding up a mirror and like, I don't know. You guys think that I was whacking Angela and like clocking her and being shady. I'm really surprised by the reaction. I was literally just doing my job as host. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Why didn't they end off? What? Why didn't they end off the round table with, I wish you all, <laughs> because I'm not Dr. Will and we just, we have different, it's not only like that we have different styles, but also like we shouldn't be saying the exact same things. Like he was great and did it for years, but now I'm doing it now. And I should not and don't want to be doing the exact same thing that he did, so. And he's been super, super supportive also, so. I was wondering if I missed something because everyone said you shaded her. Yeah, I didn't shade her. They just don't like Angela, so anything towards her validates them basically like my job as roundtable host is to just 
Oh, I can't wait to see this. Um, yeah, my job as the host is just to challenge people's perspectives. So, and I'll get into this some more when I post this video on like my thoughts on hosting roundtable and yada, yada, yada. I don't know what that just said. Um, but so if somebody is very pro Taylor, my job is to challenge why they are very pro Taylor. Can you back it up? Can you stand by it? Are you only pro Taylor because you're bitter? Is that going to influence your vote? You're allowed to be bitter, but can you acknowledge that that is why you were voting that way? Do you still stand behind that? And so I have to challenge everybody. Coco, thank you. I want to like, is that the, I want to run like a cowboy. <laughs> How's Pinky Doll? Is she still out here? Is she still doing all that? Thanks to your spirit. Um, so all that said, my job is literally to give, thanks Carol, equal pushback to everybody and their perspective and why they feel on who they're voting for or not voting for or anything like that. It's only a clip we see that everything was shown. Yeah, we filmed for like 90 minutes to two hours. So it's never about, I, I think the most misleading thing for a lot of people that maybe just don't understand TV is that um, I saw it happen on my season and seasons before like people watch the round table segment and they say oh well this one person said this one thing against this one person so obviously they're anti so and so and they're gunning really hard against that person and it's like no like everybody had to say a pro and con about somebody like literally I remember um Brittany, Brittany for my season, I saw the portion of the round table where she was like, oh, like Taylor did the, like the flashiest thing, maybe not the thing for the game. And I was like, okay, she clearly had said something that was a pro about my game. And if you have to pull a con about my game, that would be the con to say. So I don't know. I wish people just had a better understanding of like, I don't know. I think it's obvious that that's what happens. Um, I just wish that other people kind of saw that. Truthfully, I think the round